Our guanciale is uh, sizzling right now. We're going to continue to sweat this until all of the, uh, not all, but I mean, you're going, you're going to see a, uh, a development of oil. Hi guys, it's John, Foodie A1C, coming back at you with another very, very simple recipe. You guys may be familiar with this dish. It's another Italian dish, so we are continuing the, uh, the Italian trend, so to speak. So this dish is, again, very simple with only a few key ingredients. And today we're going to be preparing pasta carbonara. So this time, guys, we're going traditional. We are preparing our carbonara uh, the traditional way uh, by only using you know, what they use uh, for this dish. Uh, such as eggs and by the way I am using uh, organic eggs I will be using uh, pecorino romano cheese uh, a little bit of black pepper uh, we are also using um, spaghetti so we have our spaghetti so the traditional way of preparing carbonara is by using some sort of a bacon and the traditional way of preparing carbonara is by using what they call guanciale. Guanciale is different from normal bacon or typical bacon because typical bacon is made using pork belly. The guanciale is made from the pork's jowl or the cheeks. So this area of, of the animal. So this is guanciale. And as you can see, the fat content is actually more than, you know, it's not a lean meat, right? Which is what we want in our um, carbonara. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this coarsely. You know, it's thinly sliced, not too thin. And that's totally fine. I mean, I've seen uh, some carbonara made with chunkier styles of this particular cut of meat, but that's certainly, uh, you know, that'll do. So let's go ahead and chop this up. I have a pretty thick uh, bunch over here. And all I need is um, maybe cut it into thirds first, and then just cut it um, this way. And that's fine right there. Go ahead and prepare um, to sweat the meat. So on the right side over here, I already have our water boiling. I am going to be seasoning that with a little bit of salt before we put in our pasta. And I have the pan right here. I haven't turned on, I have not turned on the, the stove yet. What we want is cold, uh, a cold pan. And I'm just going to be putting in just a touch of olive oil, just a touch. Um, my objective here is not to use the oil for the cooking, but more as a flavoring. So I'm not even, I'm just gonna put that much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw the guanciale, I'm just gonna throw the guanciale in here, and then go ahead and turn on our pan. So we wanna start it cold. and then gradually bring the temperature up so we don't we don't flash fry the meat so while that is cooking or sweating we are going to prepare the sauce for our carbonara so carbonara is pretty simple I'm gonna be using two eggs Now, there are two ways to do this. Uh, if you want a more flavorful dish, if you want a more flavorful carbonara, uh, what you can do is you can actually use just the egg yolks. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Or you can use, you can also use um, like one full egg and one just egg yolk. It's up to you. But for this example, we are just going to be using two eggs. 
Um, also, we're going to be using some uh, of our Pecorino Romano cheese. Like uh, a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And also some black pepper. So I can hear the... Uh, I can hear our guanciale sizzling. So let me go ahead and, and uh, just give this a good uh, mix. And that's it. That's basically the sauce for uh, carbonara. Now there are variations of this recipe, not traditional. I've seen people use uh, heavy cream. Um, I mean, you can you can you can play around with this recipe, uh, but as I mentioned in the beginning, we are going for a traditional uh, pasta carbonara. So, no cream. You think if you think about it, the cheese should give you plenty of that creamy uh, flavor. Go ahead and check on our uh, guanciale. We're going to continue to sweat this until all of the, uh, not all, but I mean, you're, go, you're going to see a, uh, a development of oil. It smells really, really good. So while that's sweating, I'm going to go ahead and start on the spaghetti. So we we'll grab our spaghetti. As you can see here, the uh, we're slowly developing a uh, a toast, I guess, for lack of a better term, and a good color on the guanciale. And we're going to keep doing that until it turns, you know, a good color, a good uh, brown. So we got a pretty good uh, color on our guanciale. So what I'm going to do, or what I did, is I just pushed it to the side. Because I don't want it cooking anymore. I'm actually going to turn this very, very low. And I don't want, I don't quite want that much oil in my pan. So I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to reduce this by just grabbing a paper towel. I want some oil, but not a lot. We're gonna give the pasta about a minute and a half to cook. So now that our pasta is done, we can go ahead and uh, bring the pasta over to our pan. and give this whole thing a good mix. Turn that off. I don't need cooking anymore. Now the flavor of the guanciale is actually coated the, uh, the pasta. So what I want is a little bit of liquid. Uh, just a tiny bit of liquid on the pasta. While it's still hot, but not quite cooking hot, what we can do is throw in our sauce. I'm not even going to use all of it. I'm just going to give it a good mix. What we don't want to happen is we don't want the egg to scramble. So we're going to just keep on and that is our pasta carbonara. 
So guys, why don't we give this a taste? Really, really creamy. I can taste the guanciale, and there's just this creamy texture, like the egg has enveloped the pasta while you, you know, pour the sauce, and you know, while you mix up the pasta with the sauce, with you know, into the into the guanciale, and. Um, Oh, by the way, guys, you know what's uh, good uh, while you're eating this? A bottle of wine, so... Or a glass of wine. <laughs> you know where I'm going with it, a bottle of wine, right? But a glass of wine to start with. So, you know, why don't we open this up and uh, you know, let's have some food. Cheers. Or as they say in um, Italian and then Spanish, salut. That paired with this actually brought out the sweetness in the wine. So initially when I first tasted the wine, it wasn't as sweet. But now eating this dish with the salty uh, guanciale and the cheese... It just brought it in. It's, it's perfect. So guys, thank you for joining me on another gastronomic food adventure, right? Pretty simple. Again, we are, you know, that's kind of our theme. If you don't or, or cannot find guanciale, um, bacon will work. Uh, try not to use smoked bacon. Um, you want to keep that, um, you know, that, that flavor without the, you know, getting kind of bogged down by the uh, smokiness of, of the bacon. So if you can find bacon that's not smoked, I think it would be better. But you know, if you can find guanciale, uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a better choice. So thank you again, everyone, for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, hit that bell if you haven't done so yet, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And, um, you know, you will get notified of uh, some new videos that uh, I come up, uh, that I release. So, again, guys, thank you. This is John, Foodie A1C, wishing you a very, very good weekend and a very nice weekend. Peace. I'm out.